Hello, my name is Amanika Kumar and I'm a gynecologic oncologist. Today, I'm here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Dre Warner Hendrickson, to talk about PARP inhibitors and their role in treating gynecologic malignancies. Dre, thank you so much for being here today. Why don't we just start by talking about what are PARP inhibitors and what's all the buzz about? Thanks, Amanika, for allowing me to discuss this important and current topic in ovarian cancer. In order to understand PARP inhibitors, we have to talk a little bit about cells and DNA. All of our cells have multiple mechanisms to repair damaged DNA. If d damaged DNA is not repaired, these cells will often not be able to divide and they will die. PARP is one of the enzymes that has a role in DNA repair. When cells experience DNA damage, the repair mechanisms are activated. If repair can occur, the cell will continue to survive. However, if DNA damage is not repaired, the cell will undergo cellular death. PARP inhibitors take advantage of this mechanism by not allowing the PARP protein to repair damaged DNA. Therefore, cells with damaged DNA will continue to have unrepaired DNA and will eventually die. This is, of course, advantageous when we are trying to kill a cancer. PARP inhibition can assist in killing off damaged cells. So BRCA1 and BRCA2, these so-called breast and ovarian cancer genes, are genes that when mutated will increase the risk of an ovarian cancer. Why do patients with these gene mutations uh, benefit from PARP inhibitors? That's a great question, Amanika. BRCA1 and 2 are also genes that are involved in DNA damage repair. When they do not function, they allow cells to continue to survive with DNA damage, and this can lead to cancer development, such as breast and ovarian cancer. However, PARP inhibitors are especially effective in tumors that have a BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutation. Because those cells with the BRCA gene mutations can't get repaired by the BRCA proteins, they are more dependent on PARP to repair the damaged DNA. However, if we inhibit PARP, it's like a double hit to those cells and they are unable to repair the damage that has occurred to the DNA and die. It is, however, important to be aware that even if you don't have a mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2, your tumor may have this mutation or another mutation in the DNA repair pathway that can make these tumor cells more sensitive to PARP inhibitors. I would recommend all women with ovarian cancer to talk to their oncologist about how their tumor can be tested for these changes. This will help predict how well the PARP inhibitors will work in their cancer. So there, I know there are three PARP inhibitors that are available and approved by the FDA. And they all have slightly different uses and slightly different um, times at which patients will use them for their cancer. What are the different indications and how do patients decide when to start or not start a drug and which one to start? That's a great question. The best answer is actually that this should be discussed between the individual and their physician. PARP inhibitors can be used in a, as a maintenance therapy and as well as a treatment. PARP inhibitors have benefits, but we think the most benefit comes in patients with either an inherited BRCA mutation or in patients where their tumor has a defect in BRCA. We also see an enhanced effect if the tumor has a defect in a certain DNA repair pathway. There is tumor testing available to help predict how effective this treatment will be for an individual. However, it can also be used in patients that don't have either of these changes. PARP inhibitors, like many medications, also have significant side effects, including fatigue, nausea, and bone marrow suppression. But overall, they're generally well tolerated. So when and how to use these PARP inhibitors is an important discussion to have with your physician. Well, thank you so much for being here. That was certainly very informative, and I'm just so glad that we now have some new treatment options for our patients. Please visit mayoclinic.org for additional information about PARP inhibitors and ovarian cancer. Thanks.